Today, I will show you how to create a clean thumbnail like CJ inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Open up Valorant and choose Custom Game. Copy down my game options and choose the map you want. Also, don't forget to subscribe to never miss other useful tutorials like this. Choose your agent based on what hands you want to be holding your gun. Copy down my cheat settings. Make sure you have a ghost key binded. Make sure your HUD is off by toggling the following. Fly to your location of choice and inspect your gun. Afterwards, take a screenshot or clip the video to get all the frames. Close Valorant. Open Resolve and place your clip on the timeline. Scrub through and make sure your preferred frame is first. Select Change Clip Speed and click Freeze Frame. Now that your clip is static, open it in Fusion. Press Control Space to open this menu up and type Zoom Blur. Make sure this star is centered to the gun. Play around with these two sliders to make the center clear and edges blurred. Once you have achieved your preferred look, add a color corrector using the same drop down. Color correction is optional, but if you want your thumbnail to stand out, Add some saturation. Return to the edit page and search for a fusion composition. Add it to the timeline above your clip. Open it in fusion. Here is a quick tip. If you want to move your nodes freely and not on a grid, change this. Grab a background node and attach it to your output as a background. Next, grab the text node and attach it as the foreground. Foreground is the green arrow and background is the yellow arrow. Done correctly, your node tree should look something like this. Change the background's alpha so there is no background color. The size of the text is up to you, but if you want my example's text, follow my steps. Add a transform node below the text if you want to change the aspect or position. Go to the shading tab in the text node and add a new element with the following settings. Back to the first element. Go to the black outline element again. After all, I ended up changing the size. If you want sharp edges on your outline, toggle this. CJ often adds emojis to his thumbnails. If you would like this, add one and move it around using the controls in the inspector. If you don't want it covering the text, place it under the text fusion composition. This part is optional, but you can grab a text plus node and write your username on it to put as a watermark. To export, go to the color tab, click grab still, and right click the still and hit export. Name it and set the file type to JPEG or PNG if you would like to use it on YouTube. Once this video goes up, there will be a channel in my Discord server containing the Montserrat font for free. Thanks for watching.